perfectly imperfect. That's what I'm going to be today. And that's what I'm going to tell you about. So I was asked, how do you do it all? How do I do it all? I don't do it all. I don't even do half of it. I fake it. You know, I guess, you know, my house for the most part is put together, but I haven't cleaned my floors for, I don't even know how long. And I know for some people say, oh, okay, probably two or three days. No, I sweep once a week, but I don't think I've mopped my floors in like a month. So my kids' socks are black when they run around with their socks. And that's what bleach in the washing machine is for. And my nails, not done. My hair needs dyeing. Um, what else? Oh, I don't have a, what I'm told I should get is a ring light for these segments, for these videos. So this way the shadow could be just right. Oh, and I was told that I need to also get an editing or get editing software. So this way moments like this don't happen and they could seem perfect. Um, and I'm going on vacation soon to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, okay? Voy para Puerto Rico. Yes, I'm Spanish, fluent, and I was told today to go work out. I don't want to work out today. I wanted to do this video and I was told, oh, remember vacation? Vacation shouldn't bring that much stress for you to look perfect. And if it's that important, I'll Photoshop the pictures and I don't Photoshop anything. Perfectly imperfect. It's okay to not have it all done just right. It's okay to, to not be perfect. And I don't even know who was the idiot who coined that term anyway. And I think perfect is different for everybody, right? You know, what's perfect for one person is stupid for another. And so I just wanted to let you know that you should expose yourself for all the wonderful imperfections, I guess, that you have whether it's in your house or in your life or in your person, this is the real us. This is the real me. I need a manicure and I can't find time. My hair needs dyeing and it's up in a bun. Um, I don't have any makeup on and it would have taken me too much time to put it on before I come and came and did this video. And again, this weekend, I got an allergy attack, so I wasn't able to do a video because if you think this is bad, you should have seen back then two days ago. And it's okay to not have it all done. The kids are bathed, they're fed. Yes, I went to McDonald's today, but for the most part, I don't. And um, they did their homework, which I totally hate doing with them, but that's okay. And they're in bed and they're happy and they're done. And I get to relax a little bit and I get to take that stress off of me that it has to be perfect perfect in whose eyes i don't know but it is okay to be perfectly imperfect and so i hope you embrace your imperfections and your i don't know you know i didn't write anything for this segment <laughs> that's what makes it so great so just enjoy being you and it's okay. There's not one of us, not one of us, especially if you don't have a nanny or a housekeeper or a personal cook or a uh, personal trainer. None of us can do it all. And that is perfect because and then it should take the stress off of all of us, right? So... I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm also the writer of the blog, theprettyplatform.com. Hope you go and check some of uh, my articles out there. And don't forget to visit me at The Pretty Platform on Facebook and on Instagram. And I am just Pretty Platform. 
for some strange reason, Twitter didn't allow me the the, but I am pretty platform at Twitter. So you can check out my links uh, down below and I hope to see you next week and stay imperfectly perfect. Bye.